Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered that how we can read input register values in our Raspberry Pi Pico W from remote mode bus TCP device. Okay. Now in this video, we are going to see that how we can read input status in our Raspberry Pi Pico W from remote mode bus TCP device or remote mode bus TCP server. Okay, so in this case also our Raspberry Pi Pico W will act as a Modbus TCP client. It will send the request to remote Modbus TCP device and it will fetch the input status and it will get back to us with the values. So first of all, we have to set up our remote Modbus TCP device. So as always, we are going to use Modbus slave for this and then we will go to setup and then we will go to slave definition. We want to create a server with input status okay so we are going to select the input status and then we will press ok now we will go to connection connect and then we will just press ok because connection type is more best tcp ip and port number is 502 so this is fine so we will press ok here and our remote modbus tcp server with 10 number of input status is up and running now we want our thony to program our raspberry pi pico and then we will try our code to run the values so let me open my thony micropython id so thony is here now we will go to our github repository to copy the code so modbus tcp client read input status so we will just copy this code and we will make some necessary changes so let me paste it in thony okay so here you have to put your wi-fi ssid and your wi-fi password okay then after modbus tcb port 502 is fine and slave address is one as you can see here device id is one and input status we want to read is zero and number of quantity we want to read is one okay now we have to supply the ip address of our remote modbus tcb server so just let me open my command prompt here ip config and here is my ip address of my system and i am using my system ip address because my modbus tcp server is running in my system so that is why i am using this ip address now we are going to create our modbus tcp client and then we are reading the values okay so here we are reading the values of our input status so we want to read the value of input status 0 and the number of quantity we want to read is 1. So let's run our code and see the results here. Okay, so let me make some space and run the current script. So my Raspberry Pi Pico W will first try to connect with my Wi-Fi and then after it will send the read request and it will get back to me with the status of that input status. Now let me change it to on and then let me run this code again. Okay, so as you can see here, value is true. Previously it was false because here it was zero. So that is why it was false. Now it is true because we have changed it to one. Now let me read the uh, input status one and the quantity one. So it will show me the false as a result. Okay, so let me run the script. Okay, false as a result. And let me change it to on and then we will again read the value. Okay, so as you can see value is true. So our Raspberry Pi Pico W will read the input status from our remote Modbus TCP server. So this is how you can perform the read operation from your Raspberry Pi Pico W to remote Modbus TCP server. So I hope everything is clear in this video and this is the same as we are going to read the holding register or coil status. So you don't have to change uh, your program very much. You just have to change this line read discrete inputs in the holding register we are going to use holding register syntax okay so this is the main difference rest of the things are same 
so i hope everything is clear and if you still have any doubt then you can ask me in the comment section also you can ask me on the instagram telegram and whatsapp so we will meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you